broke the wires going on guys so today Not i'm going to show you how to do this how's type of uh 3d test um, from 24k john edit you have been Not seeing this type of 3d test pop up how's in his video so today Not i'm going to same. make this video how's and that? in this video you'll be using uh, i'll be using element 3d and uh, bcc plugin how's so that? if you're not having them then let's get them and like this video and subscribe to my channel so now let's get not into the video same. okay guys right now i after effects and this is my test so i'm just going to type what the character is saying so uh, let me play this not the same how's that not the same so now let's create a new solid and we'll call it e3d so we're going to add our element 3d plugin so you go to your your effect then you add your element plugin now you're going to select our custom layers here then we'll go to test the max then you will make select our test now also create a new solid then we'll call it texture then this we're going to add the fractal noise We are going to choose a preset here called mosaic then we are going to our appearance then we change the color to something like then i'll go to the seed often make a keyframe then just increase the seed so now pre-compose the texture here or you can leave it like this so now just turn it off then the test also off now go to element 3d go to your custom texture maps and select our texture and select effect and max now let's go to our scene setup we'll go to extrude and now we have our test here make sure it's always on ultra so i get the best outlines so with this now go to our extrusion model go to bevel copies make sure you have two copies then you have our two copies go to your preset make sure you go to your crucial s2 and go to metals and make sure you choose one so i'll go for the second one here and for the first one i'll go to my my bevel bevel one i'll go to diffuse then we're going to load the texture we created earlier so now you cannot see our texture here so go to this option go to our z offset so now select this texture here and now just click on ok now go to, let's go to element 3d go to group one go to particle loops make sure you turn on multi object and go to our world we go to our world transform and i'll go to our skill so make sure our test is in the middle here so go to the world transform and now go to skill then make a keyframe it's you a keyboard go in time and resize this not the same has not the same you're not how to keyframe right click keyframe assistant it is and now go to your graph and go to your speed graph and make this graph here not the same how's that how's that not the same okay now we have our animation now go to our multi object of thing click on x rotation x then go to displace and make a keyframe 
So make a keyframe for displays and exhortation. It's on you. Send your keyframes to this side here. to do is go to our select both the text element 3d and the texture and recompose it and with this now let's go and add our drop shadow so duplicate the drop shadow again and increase this Let's add our rays. We'll go for the BCC rays tested. So I'm going to select this here, then we go to so you can choose any of this. So let's go for this one and hit on OK. Then we go to our ray length and reduce the length go to our light source So you can go back into your BCC race textures and change the color. If you want any color here, you can just select it and it's going to update. So you can go for blue. Then if you go to our deep blue, you can also change the color to something like blue. So just try uh, your hands on this settings here. If you are okay with these values, you can save it as a preset so that anytime you want to use it, you can just apply on it. So guys, see you in my next tutorial. Peace.